This is Talk with Tuck GC. Today I'm going to talk about how we put together and prep these ACO drains. Now you can see we did a small concrete pour here, base for the paver walkway. We got the driveway with paver border, concrete pour going tomorrow. So the drain's completely prepped. And in my opinion, this is the best way to do these ACO drains. Now, first off, we're not using NDS, we're not using plastic. This is the reinforced fiber cement ACO drain with the drive on grates you see right there that'll be put on top. And this is a strong product made to last the life of the concrete here for 50 plus years. Now there's a few ways to do this. If you're in a hurry and you only have one day to prep and pour, you really can't do this methodology. We've done that before. We've used the little chairs, not that great, tough to get level, tough to put together. Um, we've done where we just basically stick rebar from side to side and kind of hold it But again the concrete can shift that in a situation where you don't have the time I get it sometimes you have to do that But in this case we had a day to prep so we're gonna do it right so first things first we dig out this big footing the whole way along Then we come in and we put uh, a bag of sackcrete below every one of these and do a mini footing then we put the block in place. Now what that gives us is a nice elevated structure here where the concrete can flow through the block so it's going to fill that in completely giving it a solid footing as well as a the concrete there. There's no way this is going to go anywhere. There's 12 inches thick almost with the concrete base below plus the block plus the mortar bed. We've got a lot of concrete going in there. So we come in first with sackcrete, do the little footer, put the block, then we just use pre-mixed bag mortar because it's easy. We mix that up and we set a mortar base here to get the levels correctly. We run a string line across so everything's level and straight and then we start to set it in the mortar bed. Now once we get it all set and it's nice and tight, we come at the end and we basically take our mortar from the block and we push it up in there. So what that does is it holds it in place. So even when this concrete goes around and the guys are working around it, stepping on it and everything, it's not gonna shift, it's not gonna change and you're gonna have a nice, beautiful product for your client to install. At the very end here, where we put the drain in, we always encase this whole thing with concrete and mortar. So you can see we sealed it at the top with some hydraulic cement, and then we packed another bag of concrete underneath it and around it to stabilize it from below, and then put the mortar the whole way around it to just secure it up. And that's how it's done, folks. You do it this way, it'll last forever. It gives you an easy concrete pour. You don't have to worry about it shifting or anything. But again, this can only be done when you have an extra day of prep. This was a big job, so we got to spend a whole day prepping this, and we're going to pour it all tomorrow, and it gives us the luxury to install it this way. So thanks for watching. If you have one of these ACO drains and you want it done professionally, right the first time, give us a call. This is how we're going to install it for you better than the next guy.